When they threatened to take to the streets Tuesday to push for the implementation of the CBA, that was just a third. Threats come Wednesday and they walked the talk. <laughs> taking to the streets of Nairobi to push for a CBA that they say only three universities in the country have honored so far. As we talk, no university has cleared the, uh, the internal CBS. The striking lecturers say they will be holding the protests every Wednesday until their grievances are fully addressed. The procession that began at the University of Nairobi Graduation Square to Parliament buildings was not without push and pull between them and the police officers. The officers not so amused that the striking dons had even sought the services of a band to help amplify their CBA implementation demands. But the unrelenting lecturers would continue with their procession only for their journey to be interrupted once again at Parliament Ward. However, after exchanging some verbal spots, the visibly no-nonsense officers gave in but allowed only officials of the University Academic Staff Union, WASU, to present their petition to Parliament. And I'm being told that they have some instruction not to allow us to pay, uh, petition Parliament. Parliament it's a national assembly. They are entitled to listen to grievances of dons. So, we have struggled and reached here. I want to say that our petition has been received and registered. Members of parliament were, however, not amused by the decision of the police to disrupt the procession by the university dons that they noted was all the way peaceful. The closure of universities one of the biggest disasters in this country and that is the biggest clock jam in the calendar of education in this country and therefore the act by the police to obstruct citizens who are enjoying their constitutional right must be condemned. Once the petition was received in Parliament, members headed for Harambe House to petition the Education CS Fred Matiangi. Meeting with the Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Education, to save the higher education sector from uh, imminent collapse. Don't see this country are not going to relent, and we are more energized this time. I want to say that we are more energized never, <laughs> like never before. Striking dons want, among others, the 2013-2017 CBA implemented to the letter, including their internal CBAs that were part and parcel of the national CBA. They also want commencement of talks on the 2017-2021 CBA, whose benefits, they argue, are currently being enjoyed by other civil servants. Caroline Kamar reporting for Channel 1 News Hour.